Hey guys, and welcome again to Fadi Aquarium channel. Today, I'll be installing this Amazon Echo Dot on my reef aquarium, so I can control it with Alexa. Also, this video will be available in Arabic language, like the previous video. This is uh, the new uh, Echo Dot, uh, Generation 3. This Echo Dot comes uh, built in with a speaker inside. There is a user manual. Is a little card with uh, things to try using Amazon Echo Dot. What's else inside? This is the adapter and the power cable. Now you plug in your Echo Dot and wait for Alexa to say hello. Hello. Your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. I open the app, go to Devices, Echo and Alexa, and click on my Echo Dot. Then I connect it to Wi-Fi network. Now setup will begin. He's instructing me to wait for the orange light. Now I need to connect my iPhone to the Echo Dot. So I'll go to my Wi-Fi settings and connect this phone to the Dot Wi-Fi. You've connected. Now go back to the Alexa app. Now I'll open the Alexa app to continue setup. Now I'll select my Wi-Fi network and wait for the Echo Dot to finish setup. Now, I'll go to the Alexa Amazon website and log in with my Amazon account. Now I need to add the Apex Fusion skill. I'll go to skills, then search for Apex Fusion. And enable the skill. Give authorization. And now it is successfully linked. Now I'll go to Apex Fusion, click on voice setup. I'll need to make the status report first. I'll add the items for the status report like pH, calcium reactor pH, ORP, and temperature. The second part of the voice uh, command is to add aliases. The first alias will be for ORP. I'll add another one for pH. I'll name it tank pH. Another one for temp and I'll call it temperature. And last but not least is the calcium reactor internal pH. Alexa, ask Apex Fusion for a status report. Temperature is 78.4 degrees. Tank pH is 7.98, calcium reactor internal pH is 6.47, and ORP is 467. In the help section, I can see many details about the voice command, like aliases, status report, and the commands that I can use with Alexa. Some examples here like Alexa, tell Apex Fusion to turn on the skimmer. To configure Alexa, to turn on and off the skimmer, I'll need to add 
an alias for the output of the skimmer. Alexa, tell Apex Fusion to turn off the skimmer. I'm switching the scanner to off. Alexa, ask Apex Fusion to turn on the scanner. I'm switching the scanner to on. To control the lights, I made a virtual output named Lights On. I'll set it to on. Then I'll go to the light program and put this if statement if output lights on equal off then off. Then I'll add an alias for the light in the voice command. Alexa, ask Apex Fusion to turn off the lights. I'm switching the lights to off. Alexa, ask Apex Fusion to turn on the lights. I'm switching the lights to on. To feed the fish using Alexa, I'll add a new alias for feed A. Then I'll go to virtual feed output and add a feed A zero then on. Alexa, ask Apex Fusion to feed the fish. Starting feed the fish. Now the pumps and skimmer will turn off. After that, the auto feeder will start feeding. Also, you can log test results without any configuration. Alexa, ask Apex Fusion to log alkalinity test. What's the result of your alkalinity test? 8.3. What are the units for this measurement? DKH. Should I log alkalinity as 8.3 DKH? Yes. Your results are logged. Your last alkalinity test was from a little less than 4 days ago and was 0.8 dKH lower. I really liked my first experience with Alexa. Uh, I'm really impressed with it actually and uh, you can control the tank by voice commands. Uh, it's another option, easier option than uh, controlling from PC or, uh, or mobile. So it's uh, uh, I'm sure I'll add more features uh, using Alexa. Also, another thing I'm considering uh, that I will add uh, more uh, Alexa-ready devices from Amazon uh, for uh, for the home. Uh, I'll start making a small uh, smart home using Alexa. Uh, that's it for today, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you can get notification of future videos. Bye!